what we're looking at here is the French horn from EM Skinner Opus 617, um, which was originally built for the residence of James Monroe in Orange, New Jersey. Mr. Monroe made his money manufacturing adding machines. Uh, this reed is a little unusual for a Skinner French horn in that they typically ranged in scale somewhere between 5 and 6 inches, and this little guy is only 4 inch scale. Although it sounds like a typical Skinner French horn, it's on about seven and a half inches of wind, and it's just recently come through the shop where it has been restored and revoiced. When it arrived at the factory, it was quite filthy and coated with oil soot and dirt, uh, and the oil soot in particular was difficult to remove. It cleaned up pretty well, as you can see here, not only the blocks, but also the tuning wires, the, these being the original wires. It's been completely stripped and refinished and all of the tuning scrolls have been redone. And we can see here one little detail which Austin always does when we revoice other people's reeds. The original Skinner maple wedges which held the reed in place have been replaced with Austin's brass wedges. This has been our standard practice for well over half a century and the brass wedges just greatly enhance the tuning stability. So and as you can see here, she's getting ready, the French horn's getting ready to ship off the rest of the reeds from Opus 617 to her new home in Philadelphia.